this has been saving me. It's the same day as the surgery, but we're back at our house. We got little Frank. He enjoyed his time with grandma. So far, I'm still numb down there. I don't know when that's gonna wear off. Although my clitoris does hurt and it's hurt like from the beginning, just if my underwear or like the pad rub on it in a certain way or touch it pretty much at all. And I think that's just because he did remove the keratin pearls and detach my clitoral hood and maybe didn't numb it with the same stuff. So, so far nothing really hurts, hurts that bad, except when I pee. And that is why this Perry bottle has been saving me. I've peed twice since the surgery and it burns and I really don't want to pee because it burns, but luckily it only burns while I'm peeing and not after because I've had that before. That is no fun. It's about 9.30, Nolan went out to go get some rice because I haven't really eaten today. I had half of a smoothie. So the paperwork said to be on a liquid diet until you have your first bowel movement, but I have zero idea how I'm supposed to have a bowel movement if I can't eat real food. And I don't feel nauseous or anything. Also with the bleeding, I have been bleeding today, but it's not like as heavy as a period. I changed the pad like once. Anyway, gonna take a bath tonight. I'm gonna take one of the sleeping pills before I go to bed and probably some Tylenol because I really, 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 really don't want to take the Percocet, but I'll keep you updated this week as to whether I take it or not and how the pain is going. Well, this is my view. Not sure how much longer, probably this week. Last night, I ended up taking an Ambien and I took one of the Oxycodone that's how you say it just because i was worried that if i didn't then i would sleep terribly and the pain would be bad honestly it wasn't too bad to sleep the most irritating part is my clitoris like i've said before but hopefully that will heal fast and then this morning at 7 30 i took a bath and then i went back to sleep and then i took did i take a second bath i don't know it's like noon right now so i've been taking that citrate what's it called all of my medicines are like way up here, so I can't really reach them. But I've been taking that drink that you take when you're going to have a colonoscopy. Just like I've taken probably like three sips of it. Today I'm just switching off between Motrin and Tylenol. So I'm actually not supposed to use the Tylenol, acetam acet acetamine, how do you say that? The dual action ty Tylenol, I'm not supposed to be using that. Gosh, I can't talk. So they gave me like a whole plan for staying on top of pain without using the oxycodone, which I would prefer to do. But honestly, it hasn't really been that painful. Just like a little bit of like heat and pulsing, I guess you could say. So I tried the ice pack yesterday and I hated it because it wasn't like soft as well as the pads that I bought compared to the hospitals. The hospitals were like really soft and malleable and mine were just stiff and like kind of cuts into the stitches and whatnot. I took the pad out and I've just been wearing underwear with one of these, the cooling wipes. They call them pad liners, but they're pretty much wipes. And I put that in my underwear and that feels way better than an ice pack. They said the first couple days like are probably gonna be fine and then it'll get worse. So I'll keep you posted on whether it gets worse. Right now we're doing good. So I just woke up from a nap to a call from Dr. Goldstein. He has called me probably like four times since the surgery just to check in. Yeah, everything still feels pretty numb, honestly. I told him except for my clitoral area and he was like, oh yeah, we didn't numb that. So that makes sense. He said that they took out like 12 of the keratin pearls and now it's all good and clean down there. He also said the pain will probably kick in in the next couple days. So we'll see how that goes. But as of right now, I am just doing the Tylenol and ibuprofen switch off type dealio. Also, my throat's kind of sore. I don't know why. Hello. It is Sunday and all I know is that the days are blurring in together. If I sit here and I'm still, then nothing hurts. But if I move, then it does hurt. And I don't know why those lights are flashing, honestly. Sorry. It's really annoying. So the most painful part is still my clitoris and it's like the skin in between your butt and your vagina. It's really swollen and that hurts a lot. Um, not like a lot, a lot. I don't know. I feel like, okay, light stop flickering. My goodness. I feel like the pain's really not that bad. I feel like I have a pretty large pain tolerance, but you know, 
I'm also not overdoing anything. I'm literally just sitting here. We'll see in the coming days. It's only been like two days. So far, so good. Oh look, I'm in the same spot. Discovered something new, guys, and it is not great. If you sneeze or cough, it will hurt very bad. But honestly, I was just talking to my mom about how things have been going and I feel like my knee surgeries were a lot harder than this. Granted, I'm two days in, but I'm feeling pretty good. So as you can see, I am in the bathtub. It is day three. My routine lately has been, I have been doing the ibuprofen, Tylenol, switcheroo thing. If I wake up at 7.30, which I've been waking up randomly on the dot at 7.30, I will take a thousand milligrams of Tylenol, then three hours later I'll take 600 milligrams of Motrin, three hours after that a thousand of Tylenol, and so on until I decide to go to bed, which has been pretty late, it's been like midnight, and then I've taken an, an Oxy and an, whatever the knockoff of Ambien is, just so I can make sure that I get a really good night's sleep, which has knocked me out. It definitely has worked. Last night was pretty much the first night that I felt like the pain was kind of setting in. I haven't sat up in bed at all. I've just been like laying kind of on my tailbone. But last night is when the pain kind of set in more. Granted, I was kind of walking around a little bit, whoops. But it was my actual skin that was kind of hurting on the outside of everything. And then pretty much everything was just like hurting. It wasn't too bad, but usually the days before I could stop the pain by just like sitting in one spot and not moving and then I wouldn't feel anything or like I said I would use those tux pads and they feel really good but it wasn't really cutting it so I took a bath last night and that definitely helped and then I just took like the Ambien and went to bed. Oh another note is that Dr. Goldstein on the phone he told me that he put 80 stitches in. 80. That is a lot. So anyway, my mom came over and I was like, do you want to see? And she was like, no, not really. I think it's fascinating. I've been trying to look down there, but I just see like a big blob of skin. And like a little later, I'll show you how I've been hobbling around. I have been trying to walk normal, but like when I walk normally, I put my legs like a lot together, if that makes sense. And I guess kind of squeeze them together and that's a no-go. It's been kind of like waddle. Out of the bath, I do have a towel on. Um, forgot to tell you guys that, oh, it's probably loud out here. Forgot to tell you guys that, Nick just wants to go outside. You can go out for a minute, okay? Forgot to tell you guys that I really only used the Perry bottle for like the first couple of days. I was like paranoid that it would keep burning, but it did not, so that was good. Also, there was one more thing I was gonna tell you. Let me go put some clothes on and then I will show you how I waddle. Look how much of this I've drank. Pretty much half of it and I still have not pooped, but that's not totally foreign to me. I usually have a hard time going to the bathroom. I would also really recommend oversized underwear because I have like my little tiny ones that like barely cover your butt. I do not like them. And I used the full like white ones, so now I just have these ones, but I'll take like three and line them so that it's covering like everything and I'll kind of like shove it in the crack because I want this medication to get in there. I was standing for like five minutes and it was starting to hurt, so I definitely think I have surpassed the numbing stage of the first two days. Now I should really take it easy. I've been putting the medicine that I need to take down here. Whoops. So I need to take Tylenol because I last took Motrin. So I will just bring this one down now so then I know in the next three hours I'll take this one. And I usually set my alarm. Yeah, my bed sheets are everywhere. I can never keep them on. Also, look how cute. This has been by my bedside. A cute subscriber sent this to me, just like telling me good luck on my surgery. So cute. It just makes me so grateful that I actually decided to post these videos because I just want other people to be aware and to get help. If you're watching this, I hope you're doing a little bit better and keep me updated. We've just been messaging through Instagram and anyone, seriously, I'm totally fine if anyone does that. 
because even if we don't have like the same thing like I'm here for you and I totally understand what it's like to have pain for years and not have answers I just thought that was really nice so I put it by my bed hey Glenn why are you barking no no one's there he's being my guard dog thank you good job guard dog in the bath again all I can say is I'm very grateful for Ambien like I told you I slept till like noon today and it's almost five I feel like I'm honestly just like waiting for the days to go by but the one thing that has really helped me is having a project I pre-filmed some videos so that I could edit them and man if I did not have those to do I have no idea what I would be doing so I would definitely recommend having like homework some type of project that's not like you know super strenuous on your body if you need a show to watch let me give you some suggestions there is panic i think it's on hulu or amazon prime um i just barely watched clickbait that was really good it was like a mini series another mini series is the queen's gambit if you haven't watched that it's kind of slow but we're watching dexter right now but i don't really like shows that go on for like a bajillion seasons because they get boring oh normal people i love normal people that was a really good one but also kind of slow i definitely know that i'm gonna have to find a show though in the next week because it's literally been three days and i'm already real bored and as i said the pain's getting worse so i can't really like walk around or do a lot of stuff hopefully nolan has come up with a dinner idea because i still have not pooped and I know it's because I haven't eaten like that substantially. I had like a peach and some graham crackers today. I think that Dr. G is gonna call a little later and maybe give us some more suggestions on how to get my bowels going. I know, really beautiful things that I'm putting here on the internet. Last night was the worst of the nights. I took the Ambien and the Oxy and still was just like really achy and couldn't get comfortable to go to sleep. So I discovered peas are great. And I just put a package of peas on my area and fell asleep like that. And that was really helpful. It's been four days, I think four or five days and I still haven't gone to the bathroom. I went like a little bit, like literally a little bit, but that's like pretty normal. And it made me start to bleed, but it's kind of freaky actually going to the bathroom when you have stitches down there but i'm trying this today mct oil and i'm just putting it in my smoothie just like a tablespoon and hopefully it doesn't destroy me new tip if you need to cough or sneeze just hold your crotch because it makes it a million times better also last night when it was super achy i just like held it and honestly it helped a lot back in the bath it's wednesday so it's almost been one week since the operation i guess two days shy but i've definitely noticed that nighttime gets worse with the pain it's not too bad though uh like i said before it's like that skin like literally just like my skin surrounding everything hurts like aches so i have been relying on peas they've become my best friend i, I don't know why i knocked them before they're pretty great last night nolan and i watched the entire new season of love on the spectrum we have been taking advantage of our late nights so that's been fun and i've just been editing videos i think once i'm through that i honestly want to learn how to crochet it's so hard though but i've seen this crochet bag out of grocery bags and it looks so cool so maybe i'll give it a shot again also dr g told me he was like how many like he keeps calling it percocet I, I was not prescribed percocet he keeps asking me how many i've taken and he said that normally people by this time have taken 20. that is crazy okay i'm getting a call from someone gotta go by that was my aunt she's bringing us lunch i'll keep you updated if anything else happens or if i find any other solutions oh oh wait, wait, wait. i tried the dermaplast and i hated it it literally like got into little crevices and made it itchy i'm pretty sure it's supposed to do the opposite but then I couldn't itch it because I don't think I'm supposed to put my fingers in anywhere. Use dermoplast at your own risk. That's all I'm saying. Oh, hi, girl. Hi, girl. So cute. Oh, hi, girl. Hi, girl. Oh, hi, girl. Hi, girl. She keeps flipping her head back when I stop petting her. And there's little Hank. We're 
watching a suspenseful movie. And I'm also going to attempt to make a plastic bag, reusable bag. So it's officially been one week since I got the surgery. Honestly, I don't feel like it's been too bad. Like there's obviously pain that comes with it, but to me it hasn't been too bad. Right now, my stitches are kind of hurting because they're like positioned in a weird place where it's like poking me. Also, I have noticed that it does smell <laughs> down there, even though I have been showering. Um, I had another person tell me that that just happens when it's healing. I don't know why. Out of this past week, I feel like I've only had like three nights that I haven't slept very well. And one of them was last night, but honestly, it wasn't because I was in pain or anything. My brain was just like really hyper and I couldn't turn it off. Also, we're babysitting another dog, and so both the dogs were sleeping, like, right next to me, so I don't know if that's why I couldn't sleep. Um, I hope that this week in the life video was helpful to anyone that is getting the surgery, just to know what to expect. It was probably boring to a lot of people that aren't getting it, but maybe it was interesting. I don't know. Anyway, I just appreciate all of you who have watched, and I will continue to keep you posted with how recovery goes, especially when I start physical therapy, which a lot of people don't know you can actually do physical therapy for the muscles down there. I'll have to do that so that they can like learn to relax and stretch back out and whatnot. Thank you for watching again and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!